This is Alejandro at Heavy Motions, and we've received a lot of comments, concerns, questions recently about our dump pumps. And so today we're going to be addressing how to troubleshoot the new pump you just bought. So the first topic at hand is identifying whether your pump is a left-handed or a right-handed. So first what you're going to do is you're going to flip it over so that you can read the tag, confirm the part number on the tag with the part number on the box that you received. Uh, now, what you're gonna do after that is in the middle of the tag, you're gonna notice if it's a right-handed pump, it's either going to say RAS or RMS. If it was a left-handed pump, it'll either say LAS or LMS. After you do that, confirm that your right-handed pump is matching with the part numbers. Looking at the pump from this point of view, Imagine the center of suction being the center of the pump. And now looking at it from the shaft, keeping that center in mind, if the shaft is to the right of center, that it tells you that this is a right-handed pump with clockwise rotation. If hypothetically it was left of center, that would tell you it's a left-handed pump, rotation is counterclockwise. Next top of the discussion is a two-line system versus a three-line system. So when you first receive your pump, you'll notice that the return port is plugged with an MPT plug. Now you can connect this to your truck as is, and you'll run it as a two line system. Now, if you wanted to connect your return to the tank, you would remove this plug and connect your return port to the tank. Now, very important is when you're running it as a three line system, you want to include this sleeve so that the flow path of the oil will be correct. Now, what we've noticed is that sometimes customers will leave the plug in there and include the sleeve into the suction. Uh, what the sleeve does is it blocks off flow of a certain path. Very important to include this in the three-line system, but if you include it in a two-line system, the pressure is going to get too large and then all the seals inside will get blown out and that's how you'll have a failed pump. In conclusion, when buying a pump, make sure that you are buying the correct rotation for your specific system. Really make sure that you're buying a right-handed pump for your right-handed system or a left-handed pump when your system calls for a left-handed one. Again, the way you confirm that it's left-handed or right-handed when you buy it is you confirm the part number on the tag with the part number on the box and it also confirm with the positioning of the shaft whether it's actually a right-handed pump such as this one. Additionally, make sure that when you're connecting it as a two-line system that you leave this plug installed on the return port and that you leave the sleeve outside, not in the system at all. However, if you're going to use a three-line system, make sure you remove the plug from the return port and that you include the sleeve into suction. I'm Alejandro with Heavy Motions. Thank you for watching.